Say shut up. Hi, Lily. Some cookie cake. Cookie cake. Oh, yummy. Happy birthday. Wow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Can you read it? Let me open it and you gotta read it, okay? <laughs> Think that worked? Yeah, so now we know to fill in blanks. I've seen the picture. Very nice. I'm just saying, what would you do? My gosh. So the Ronald Reagan Kitzbera Sailor. Yes. Okay. Former USS Warsaw. Oh, how are you, sir? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. My name is Dan Arroyo. Pleasure to meet you. Navy. How's it going out there? Good, sir. Good. Very nice. Airman, Airman Prentice? Yes, sir. 
working on some of the new food that's right. That's all right. I know some of the food that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. How's it going out there? Yeah. No, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. This is Carol. Nice to meet you. Lots of luck. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a long time since I had that on. Wow. That brings back. Uh, mess up your camera. No, you're not. <laughs> Everything that goes in there is fine. Yeah, I'm going to start. Been a long time, huh? Been a long time. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time, but huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. You know, it was the first Christmas that they've had to spend a, a, away from me and stuff like that. I missed one birthday apiece, which ended up being all fair. So <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my second major one. So I deployed to Iraq in 04, 05. The first one was much worse. We didn't have a lot of contact with them. And, mm -hmm. but this is the first one with the kids. Yeah, this first one. Yeah. Oh. So we just we've been such a big part of this school over the uh -huh. last few years, and all three of our girls being at the same school now, which has um, been a great th great thing for them and our family. And well, and Tammy Clark, the librarian, she's been really good about organizing the kids, oh, super like two good. or three times a year to. Um, write all the soldiers' letters, and oh. then they sent over Christmas crafts. We got a huge a Christmas box and, with yeah. Christmas tree and decorations, <laughs> and, you know, so it was, it was cool. Raise your hand. How many of you guys have had people that have served in the military that you know? Look around at us. We have a lot of us that have people that have served. Nice job. Okay, hands down. So I'm going to read you this story that I bought. Um, it's called Hero Dad. And it says, My dad is a superhero. He doesn't wear a cloak that makes him invisible, but he wears camouflage. Sometimes he goes away for long trips because that's what superheroes have to do. My dad is an American soldier. My dad is a hero. He is my superhero. And we have somebody special here that we want to welcome home from Afghanistan. Sergeant McCreary. And I think there's somebody here that might want to see him. Come on up, guys. Definitely emotional. You know, um, I haven't got to see them for a whole year, so. Um, but it, very joyful, very joyful, very thankful. So. Just yeah, it was joyful. I definitely agree with that. I was so happy to see the girls reunite with their dad um, after so long, and um, to see the big smiles and the hugs. Yeah. And to know that we actually surprised them. We pulled it off. Yeah. <laughs> Too many times I thought they might be on to me. Okay, so like wait one minute and then come out, okay? Yeah, I saw them. 
and they were stopped at the door by a What'd you get? Just tip the box over. It's busted. Where? Just push it over. Daddy? Hi! Dad! Dad! <laughs> Hi, baby. You got home? I got home just now. I came home. How are you? I missed you. <laughs> I thought it was like his toy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you glad it's me instead? Yes. Let me kiss. I love you. I love you. <laughs> hey, Aiden, now you can have Thanksgiving. Your dad and Elf is here. Yeah, we're going to have Thanksgiving today. You going to eat turkey? <laughs> yes. I'm going to eat turkey. Yeah. Are you happy? Oh, man. Are you happy? Yep, he sure did. Yep, he flew with the elf, however an elf flies. Well, I can't hug the elf anyways. You can't touch the elf, nope. Just tell the elf thanks, though. You can tell the elf thanks. You can go tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord of the Elf! We've got a lovely lady here with me tonight. Uh, just wanted to let her know how much we love her with our family. She's been nothing short of a blessing and a gift to our entire family. Uh, she's a little embarrassed right now, and that's okay. Um, so with saying that, sorry to interrupt your dinner, but I uh, wanted to give back to her a gift and uh, give her a gift of uh, her soldier, her son, uh, home from Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, so welcome home your son, uh, Staff Sergeant David Brandy. <laughs> What is truly a story we all love to see. A soldier reunited with his or her children after serving for months overseas. New tonight, Newswatch 7's Molly Miles has one reunion you'll see only on 7. Very anxious. Very, very anxious. Home after months deployed in Afghanistan, Sergeant Kevin Purcell had one last mission. Sitting here tapping. Oh, I think that's them. That is them. Surprised his five-year-old daughter Lily at her soccer game. I was gone nine months. I haven't seen her in ten. While she warmed up on the field, a covert operation was happening in the parking lot. You miss them every day. You think about them every every day, and uh, wonder what they're doing, how they're doing. They're thinking about you. Then months of missing. Hi. Come here. <laughs> oh God. Translated into a hug. <laughs> <laughs> he will get to spend one month with his daughter before heading back to Fort Hood, then wherever the Army sends him. So until then, something that may seem little, like getting to watch his daughter play soccer. Lily, you're doing a good job. It's a big thing. A lot of people take a lot of things for granted with their families or kids. When you're in a position like mine where you don't always get that time, you high five? You take it in as much as you can. Good job out there. Because he only has so much time to catch up on the memories missed, and to start making new ones. Yeah. You need to go play. You want to go play? <laughs> okay, give me a kiss. In Omaha, Molly Miles, KTV News Watch 7. <laughs> Amazing story. Gets you every time. Sergeant Purcell is an infantryman in the U.S. Army. His first deployment was in Iraq.